It just came to a close this past weekend, the four-day Chattanooga Boat Show at the Convention Center. If it had to do with water recreation, you found it here. Boats, kayaks, ski wakeboards, everything. Something for all water enthusiasts, to include our nation's finest. We help disabled and injured veterans to be able to wakeboard and wake surf behind the boat, to be able to tell others all about Wake for Warriors, and we hope they'll check us out on Facebook and Instagram and go to the website and donate to help injured veterans get to get behind the boat and have fun weekends on the water all throughout the United States. Hundreds of faithful attended this event, the second time it's been held here in Chattanooga. All of the top dealers and retailers were here to show their brands, but no surprise, making a sale was the top priority. I mean, it is a selling weekend, which is a little different from some other shows, but you're able to come in, get a really good deal, and a lot of special pricing this weekend, so it's, it's a good time to buy your boat and get ready for summer now. Some of the boats here sell for as high as two million bucks, two mil. You would think that this industry would have been really hurt by COVID-19 and our tough economic times. You would be wrong. Actually, it's the exact opposite. COVID was uh, actually, unfortunately, was a blessing in disguise for the marine industry. Got everybody out on the water, away from everybody, and opened up uh, people's eyes to what we actually do with the, the boats and the ability to get out on every weekend for a mini vacation all the time. So the sales were crazy for the last couple of years. COVID with everybody staying home, a lot of people rediscovered or discovered for the first time boating and really this region having so much water to use, it was really kind of a blessing. We got really low on inventory for a couple of years, but now it's caught back up. Despite elsewhere, demand in the boating industry remains very high and it's expected to continue that way in 2023. Dave Staley, News 12.